For many Memphis parents and pediatricians, the baby formula shortage is now being called a health crisis. People are uh, penny pinching and buying, having having hungry babies. On top of that, it's got to be a got to be a quite quite the load to bear. We want the best for our kids, and this is literally like a health crisis. The formula shortage has caused two Mid South children to be treated at La Bonner Children's Hospital. Dr. Mark Corkins is a pediatric gastroenterologist. Right now, I can tell you there's two we have that are here. Um, we have kids that maybe are doing okay. The two children have intestinal conditions. We're supporting them with IV fluids and with IV nutrition, um, which is not ideal. Really, you want to use their bowel. If they have bowel intestines, you want to use the intestines. Uh, so this is, again, this is like, again, frustrating because we know that there's better. Many fear the formula shortage could be harmful to a baby's physical and mental growth. It's very alarming, uh, you know, um, especially during infancy. You know, it's the most rapid period of growth of our entire lives. To ease the baby formula shortage, Abbott Nutrition reached an agreement with the Food and Drug Administration to reopen a plant, but it could be months before new formula hit shelves. But that means they have to make the formula, they have to package the formula, they have to ship the formula. At best, we're talking eight weeks, probably at best. So we got, we're, we're going to have to limp for probably at least two more months. Doctors say their best advice for parents is to talk to experts. To our parents, um, talk to your doctor. You know, uh, if you have questions, ask. You know, find somebody who can help you. Um, don't trust the Internet. Alex Coleman, WREG TV News Channel 3. Earlier today, House Democrats introduced a $28 million bill to address the shortage. The measure is aimed at restoring formula in a safe and secure manner, and the additional money would help the FDA prevent future shortages.